Today we're talking all about stretched canvases. What do you need to look out for and what makes a good canvas? Hey there, my name is Jess. I'm from the Gold Coast Art School and I'm excited to talk to you about canvases today. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna break this down into two main parts because really there are two main parts to a stretched canvas. There's the canvas fabric that you paint on and then of course there is the frame that it is stretched over. When you go to the shops to pick up your canvas, you're probably gonna find ones that look just like this. This is a cotton fabric canvas, but you can also get them in linen and synthetic fabrics as well. Some of them are fairly thin and others are a lot more dense and thick. This canvas here is actually a pretty cheap canvas. It's a cheap brand, but the fabric that's being used is what's called a duck fabric. It's not a funny name for a fabric. Anyway, that just means that it is a fairly thick, dense fabric and it is generally really good quality. You can buy a canvas raw or primed. Uh, a lot of canvases these days already come pre-primed. So really they're just ready to go the second you rip the plastic off them. The big benefit of a primed canvas is that it is less absorbent, which in the long run will actually save you money. Some artists though might prefer to have a raw canvas or an unprimed canvas especially one that's a linen canvas. Quite often those linen canvases have this beautiful toned finish on them already and you can use that as a background to your painting. It gives it a different feel, a bit of a different vibe and it's actually quite beautiful. Having such a unique element to your canvas kind of leads me into my final point about fabric. Now usually the fabric that you get on your canvases is very smooth but if you're somebody who really loves texture then you might have to look quite a bit harder to find the kind of stretched canvases that you're after. And really in those sorts of cases, I'd probably recommend instead that you look for raw canvas that's on a roll that you stretch yourself. Stretching canvas can be a little bit tricky and you do need a bit of strength behind you to actually do it properly but it could be a really fun little hobby and it means that you can stretch the kinds of canvases that you really, really want instead of just having to stick with whatever's on the shelf. Of course, things like size and shape are all very much restricted by the type of frame that you have. So let's start talking about frames. When we're teaching our courses here at our school, we like to bring out this painting in particular for two reasons. Number one, it is a beautiful example of using the wipe back technique with oil paints. Uh, the artist of this one did an excellent job of that. And number two, it's a really good example of what not to buy when you're looking for a frame. Let me show you. I'm about five foot six and uh, this painting's almost as big as I am. And because it has such a big size to it, really what it needs is a good quality frame that fully supports it. And unfortunately, this one has been painted on something paper thin. You can even start to see it right now it's starting to warp. Now, what's actually happening here is a lot of tension. This is a very high tension painting. The frame has to really work very hard to keep this painting straight. And if it doesn't have the strength in it to do that, then it will start to warp. Now, if you've got a canvas that's as small as one of these, then it's probably not a huge problem. You can use quite a thin frame and it's not going to cause any major issues. But if you're going much larger with your canvas, you probably do want to look at something that's quite a bit thicker so it can handle what you're going to be throwing at it. The good thing about this though is that bigger canvases with thicker frames on them don't actually need to be super duper expensive. I know, isn't that amazing? I just love it when you don't have to spend zillions on doing your bloody canvas before you paint it. It gets a little bit nuts sometimes. Really the thing that's going to run you up the wall with your finances a bit is more so the fabric rather than the frame. So check out your cheapy shops, check out your haberdashery places, homeware places, and you are very much more likely to pick up a frame that is pretty good quality for not very much money. Now, when people stumble across this video in the future, they're probably gonna to wanna to know where the heck do I go to actually buy these sorts of things. So leave me a comment down below telling me where you find your canvases. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. And guys, we will catch you next week. Have a fantastic rest of the week. See you later. Let me put this down so I can give you a wave. Bye. <laughs>